<laughs> Hello! Hi! I'm Kim. I'm Yoshua. And we're both here uh, with part of CAP's staff. And today we're up in CAP Southwest Washington in Rep the Vancouver office. Represent Washington. Woo! So for today's um, weekly walk walker drawing, I really wanted to come back up to our Vancouver office because we have a super rad program going on that you're kind of heading up. No. It's a team up <laughs> It's here. a team. It's okay. a team. Sarah's our lead on this. Okay. Um, but we are doing a stigma project. Um, we've been uh, given funds from Department of Health from Washington State to work on a stigma project where we have a series of four lectures where we're really tackling stigma and how that impacts people living with HIV in different areas of our lives. So our next one, which is on August 13th, up in the Columbia Bank, um, we will be looking at the whole topic of U equals U. What Do you know that? what U equals U means? U equals U. U undetected. Yes. Equals untransmittable. Very good. Undetectable equals untransmittable. So for those of us who are living with HIV, and when we reach that status of undetectable, it means that we can now start thinking about that we are also untransmissible. I'm going to stop you right there. What does it mean that you reach undetectable? Undetectable means that we are virally suppressed. Mm -hmm. So through all the different things that we use, whether it's antiretrovirals or art, and um, all the different health things that we partake in to make sure that we're healthy and living in health, it brings our viral down to undetectable. So when our viral load is undetectable, it means that our bodies can be healthier, our immune systems can be healthier, and that when we are with partners, then we don't have to have that same horrible fear or stigma around possibly infecting another person. That's fantastic. Yeah. And part of getting to that place, CAP helps our clients quite a bit. Getting Huge. That place, getting on health insurance, yeah. getting them safe housing. Yeah. Uh, counseling services to help them walk through their journey. I'm really thankful that Kim just brought that up oh, okay. um, because one of the things that I discuss a lot or what I share about is the idea that in order to get to undetectable there are lots of different things that fall into place. It's a whole journey. We're talking about um, not just health care, we're talking about mental health, we're talking about housing, we're talking about nutrition, we're talking about lifestyle, all these different things and care and support. So I'm a peer navigator up here at Southwest Washington office, and what that means is that I have living experience. I am also living with HIV, and I work with people living with HIV, helping them to achieve their goals, um, try to focus on um, getting them to a space where they feel happy in living with HIV, and then shifting over to thriving as we live with HIV, because we all are living longer now. That's one of the things that's mm -hmm. happening with undetectable as well, yeah. is that if my body is undetectable, that means that I can live longer, um, it's a manageable disease, and so I want to make sure that if I can live longer, then what's going to come to me in my life is going to be a good thing. Um, and something that I want and something that I'm working towards. So that's what I do working with my peers. I help them to um, meet their goals, um, support them in their choices, mm -hmm. and really respect and honor their choices in their lives and getting to where they want to be. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And bringing it back to AIDS Walk, so CAP um, is really working on both preventing the disease and supporting those living with it as holistically as possible. So yeah. work like you do, coming at it from all sides and helping them live a long, healthy life. Yes. And the money that you are raising through AIDS Walk is helping make these programs possible yes. and helping giving folks that are living with the disease um, a much better outlook on life and helping them live to their fullest, yeah. which, is, which is incredible. So thank you for walking and thank you for raising funds. Yay! Bringing it back, so we talked about U equals U, which is what you're going to talk about next week? We have a presentation coming up next week on the 13th on Monday at the Columbia River Bank here in Vancouver. And um, we have, uh, we're going to have a panel presentation or a presentation with um, Dr. Ross Avila, who's from downstairs at our Peace Health Clinic. And then um, Ben Mayana and I are going to be doing a whole presentation around prevention and um, doing it with the community of people living with HIV. Interesting. Yeah. And who's invited to that? Everyone's invited. Everyone! Everyone's invited. We're going to have a taco bar. Mm -hmm. um, and so everyone's going to have a yummy dinner. And then we're going to have like little discussion groups. And we're really trying to reach out to people living with HIV to come and especially in the Vancouver and Washington area, the Clark County area to come and hear what we're going to talk about. Because I know like for myself, um, sometimes I shut down around terminology, medical terminology, mm -hmm. what it means. Um, there are also a lot of misconceptions around things and terms. So we are going to be talking about the most current definitions 
about HIV, mm. about AIDS, about being undetectable, um, all the different things that we're really working on um, as a community up here to help not just um, those of us who are living with HIV, but also um, per, you know helping those that are negative and, and helping them to have a healthy outlook and, and a relationship with us as well as part of one big community. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to put, I after this video, I will put up the link to the Facebook event okay. for this next Stigma Project um, mm -hmm. series. So you can click on that and find out more information there. I felt so blessed and honored to be at the first round of this, the panel discussion was just really beautiful and impactful and I learned quite a bit and it's just an amazing thing to hold space for really honest and open discussions yeah. um, to help us move forward. Yeah. So. I want to thank like um, Washington State for all the support that we've been receiving around the Stigma Project and also our amazing crew here at Southwest Washington who are just crushing it, hashtag crushing it, and um, coming from a strengths-based model um, to help our community and really empower our community to be healthy and have happy lives. Yeah, uh, the work over here in the past year at Washington that mm -hmm. Catherine's doing is incredible. It's yeah. just blown up. Yeah. Thanks so much to Washington for your support. You. And let's live it up. We have any Washington walkers out there. That's right. AIDS walk. Woo! 2018. Oh, speaking of AIDS walk, yeah. we are also here to do a drawing. <gasps> wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. You have a little bucket with Woo! names in it. That's crazy. So every week I send out an email to the walkers with a challenge. Um, so if you're registered to walk, you probably get one of those emails from me. And this week's, last week's challenge was to raise just $25. Mm -hmm. And we also had a little plug in there for matching gifts. Mm -hmm. So for people that work for corporations, not us nonprofit folk, but quite often corporations will match up to 100% of their employees' gifts. So wow. it's a great way to double the money that comes into AIDS Walk and yeah. double the money that you're raising. Yeah. So if a lot of people sent me questions about making sure that those wind up on your aid walk page or sending me information for getting those matched. Go ahead and keep on sending that our way. We love to help you do that. And everyone who raised $25, their name is in here. Anyone who sent me information about getting a matching gift, we put their name in here twice. Ooh. And they're going to win a really slick Nike backpack, which was our top prize for our walkers last year. These are really slick backpacks. I'm pretty jealous of them. So we do the honors. May the odds be ever in your favor. And our winner is, for the girls, Margaret McLeod mm -hmm. from New Seasons Market. Woo! You're a winner. Congrats, Margaret. <laughs> She's been doing some awesome fundraising on Facebook as well. Oh, which cool. Is super exciting. Awesome. So we can put that in back in there. Okay. So thank you again for taking the time You're to welcome. chat with Thank me. you for coming up and your support. My pleasure. So take a look in the comments um, in about five minutes. We're going to post a link uh, to the event coming up on the 13th. The 13th. This Monday, upcoming Monday, Monday 13th at 5.30, from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Columbia Bank uh, up here in Vancouver. Reservations not required. You can just come. And it's open to anyone, those living with HIV, those allies and supporters in our community. And if you have any questions, you can email us, email us at stigmaproject at cascadeaids.org. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.